Welcome, and today, if you are a music lover, have we got a treat for you. I'm in Regalsville today with Bill Mitchell, who's the owner of Guitar Parlor, and what Bill does is he creates, from scratch, custom guitars. Hello, Bill. Hi, Chris. How are N you? Nice to see you nice today. Nice to see you, too. Thank you. So I've been looking around the shop, and some of your work is just absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you very much. I started in 1979 as a hobby. And the first guitar, I didn't have a lot of information on, the, on how to build a guitar. So it came out so awful, I, I literally threw it in the fireplace and uh, vowed to learn what I did wrong before I built the next guitar. So it was a couple years later before I actually built the second guitar. And uh, did that for a few years, building guitars, started working on my friend's guitars, customizing, repairs, um, things like that. I know what to feel for, um, I know what to s listen for, what to look for when, when playing a guitar, when building a guitar. But I don't come from a line of musicians, I come from a long line of craftspeople. And I think that's how I became entranced more on the the design and the building of the guitar itself rather than the playing of it. I mean, look at that. Gene Autry. That's kind of like, you know. The little signature guitars for kids. Yeah. And a lot of people are older than us mm -hmm. started on these. I think each builder and each guitar player likes the sound of certain woods over other woods, and it's all personal. Uh, my personal favorite is walnut, uh, local walnut. and. Thanks to Hurricane Sandy, who knocked down a lot of trees, I, I have a good supply of walnut. This is, this is local black walnut. This tree came from the Hunterdon County Park System. Ah, oh, wow. And, yeah, uh, right over in New Jersey. And I have some here that grew in um, uh, Princeton. And this, actually, I can't, I can't get more local than this wood because this is, a, this is from an ash tree that was on my property. And Hurricane Sandy knocked it down. And that was in 2012, I believe, yeah. and this is the first guitar because it finally cured and I was able to cut it and then use it, but this, this is a... Uh, oh my gosh, the finish is absolutely gorgeous on this. It's beautiful. Right from your own backyard. Yeah, thank you. I don't you. recommend that at home. Don't try that at home. Please call Bill for that. Well, I can start with the log, but I won't cut the tree down. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Pennsylvania cherry is a nice wood. Uh, that makes a real, a real nice sounding wood, great for necks. There is very stable wood to work with. But I really don't limit myself. I use maple, uh, I'll even use poplar, um, rosewoods, a variety of rosewoods. Of course, those are exotic woods and they're international. Uh, spruce is, of course, for the acoustic guitars, lots of spruce for the tops. The neck, the neck is one, one part. And the body is another part. Okay. Um, basically, the way I break it up on acoustic guitar, you have your neck, your fingerboard, your body, and your bridge. And they're all four separate pieces, and then they, they get glued together or bolted together and go from there. There's certain um, styles that I don't really go near because it's just archaic. They're not efficient. And when it comes to repair work, it causes more headaches than, than ease. So I've, I've designed my guitars so I could repair them easier along the way. Yeah. So who are your customers? Um, my, my best customer base, my, the largest percentage are um, very serious hobbyists. Mm -hmm. People with day jobs that they play nights and weekends. And the day job allows them more money to invest in their, enjoy their hobby. Right. And that's right. their passion. So they would contact you online? Uh, online, by phone, word of mouth, walk in, uh, and, and I have a selection of guitars for them to play. They could either buy what's here or they can order something custom made. Uh, and my sales are about 50-50. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And how would they find you online if they were looking? Uh, my, my websites are guitarparlor.net mm -hmm. and billmitchell.com would be Bill with one L, Mitchell with two. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a look at how this magic happens. And like I said before, if you are a music lover like I am, today has been so wonderful to be with Bill and his craft here today. The guitars are stunning. I'm familiar with some guitars. There's SG-like bodies inspired by that. I know there's Telecaster-inspired bodies here. But the part that's so intriguing is the idea of having your own custom guitar right here made in Bucks County, possibly from a tree in your own backyard.